How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Friggin' right I am. Well, boys, today it's Friday. No, today it's Saturday. So this video is gonna be out probably Tuesday? Yeah, I'm thinking Tuesday, boys. This one's gonna be out when I'm back to work. Hopefully back to work. We'll have to friggin' see because of the old doodad and the whatnot thing I'm a bobber. I haven't ordered parts for this yet, but I did order a whole bunch of different connectors. I ordered the, uh, I think they're CT90s? X T90s? Leave your comments down below. I know you know what I'm talking about, but I ordered, I'm gonna change every friggin' battery connection I have for every RC because I have a different connector on every damn RC and that is so friggin annoying when it comes to charging. You're always saying, where's this piece? Where's that piece? What's really going on? And you can never find it. It's just dickered over and I'm tired of it. So I ordered 20 of them, 20 male femalers. So I did order that. I haven't ordered, like I said, I haven't ordered the gears for this yet because if I just ordered the gears for this and the bulkhead that's broke, it's under 50 bucks, so it's not free shipping. So I threw in a uh, Max 6 by Hobby Wing for the uh, UDR because I want to get the Traxxas one out of there and put the same one I got in here. This is what's in the old X Max. I'm running a Hobby Wing friggin' Max 6 and that, and it works really good. So I might as well go with the Max 6 for the old UDR. I'll be able to throw friggin' 8S to that UDR. Holy shoot, boys. Hang on to her, it's gonna be freaking crazy. As long as the motor will take it, we'll have to see, eh? I can still run her in 6S, it's just I have the option. I can run her in 8S. A UDR on 8S would just be ridiculous, so I can't wait to try it. But what I'm gonna do today, since I can't go anywhere because of this friggin' virus, but don't forget, boys, I did share a link this morning to some of you that are on my Facebook, and you'll see it. Drink lots of hot fluids, boys because it starts out with a sore throat and it works its way into your lungages. So drink lots of hot shit. Hot lemon water, hot coffee, hot tea, gargle with hot salt water. Just, it just says to throw hot into you. Vinegar, hot water with vinegar. Once a day, wash your clothes, wash your hands, and do all that kind of stuff because I wanna see you safe like me. Friggin' right I do, hopefully I'm safe. I wanna take this down because I'm not gonna use a computer out here anymore because I just don't want to, you know what I mean? I'm gonna take this down because the computer's already in the house and I'm gonna put this wall mount downstairs so I have a free bench so I can sew if I want because right now I have no sewing and I gotta go out and buy two by fours and stuff to make a bench and I don't want to look dicked over so I don't know what I'm gonna do there yet, but that's another story. And that's on another episode of Bill's this. Let's get this thing down. We'll go downstairs and probably install this today for a video. Um, hopefully you stick around and watch because you never know what's gonna happen when I'm doing it. I just normally cock things right over I do, so what I'm gonna need is, you know boys, I'm gonna need tools. Maybe. Maybe. I am running the external mic today. It's the only mic that really gives me the best audio it is. The other ones always give me dicked over audio and I don't know why, boys. To be honest with you, it's just cock. So I'm trying to get the best audio I can for you. It's so hard to get good audio in this. Careful. Easy. Well, that was easy. Careful, I'm scratching the mic. How you doing? Wiki wiki. So there we go, boys. The monitor's off the wall. Needs a little clean job. Maybe we'll give her a little blow job while it's down because I just happen to have some air here, I do. Hey, look at that right there, boys. She's an old IBM. She is. Nothing like a dirty old rotten old stinky old IBM. Back in the day, they were good, they were. Okay, you can shut up. Right Thank you. Appreciate it. So that was all there is to getting that down. Excuse me, pardon me. Uh, did, oh, Jesus. Hang on to her, boys. I was gonna do a cooking with Bill's last night. I forgot to tell you. I took hamburger and I add seasoning and stuff to it. And I put it on a plate and then I put a piece of Parmesan cheese in it and then I wrapped the hamburger around it and then I cooked the hamburger and then I put them in a tray and I put noodles around them and then I put uh, some uh, spaghetti sauce on top with more mozzarella cheese and then a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese and then I put uh, pepperonis on it and then I baked it. Oh my God, boys, they were good. But I fucked up. I had one last night about nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock because I didn't have to get up early today. I didn't get up till like quarter to 10, I think today. I had one last night and I'll tell you boys, I was up three times last night just with the indigestion like you wouldn't believe, eh? Thought I was gonna puke and we got through her. Together we did. I had a couple of Pepto-Bismol shots and we were decent. Make a long story short, 
I was gonna do it cooking with Bilsev, but he was cranked and this and that and everything, so I apologize. I know a lot of you are say, cooking with Bilsev, come on, come on. It's really hard for me to do that because my daughter's nine and she's go, 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 and she's always home. So, you know, that's the only problem with only child. You can't send them downstairs with the other one. They gotta hang around with mom and dad. So I'm not gonna deprive my child to do a video. I apologize. I will do one. It's just I have to do it at the right moment. So hang tight for that and I'll see what we can do for you. But I just wanted to tell you that because that's what the dirty old Bilsev does. Hey, he's on. Honest as I can be anyways. Friggin' right I am. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we got the brackets for that thing, so we'll uh, probably make our way downstairs, we will. And uh, slap her on the friggin' wall. Who wants to come? Make sure you hit the like button down below if you do, and comment. Say, yeah, sure, Bill. We'll go. Why wouldn't we? We'll see you downstairs. All right, boys, well, we're back. Girls, peoples, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. Why wouldn't you? Why the hell wouldn't you? So, I got this monitor down here, and then I decided, you know what? I need to switch all three around. Because these are the three that I'm worried about, right? So I'm going to put this one upstairs. This one's going to go underneath. And I'm going to use that wall bracket to mount my cameras, boys, up here. That way, at least I clear off this space in case I want to sew something. I know you don't want to see those videos, so I haven't showed you any in a while. But I'm having sewing withdrawals and I want to sew something. Freaking ready to do. So first thing we need to do is... Did I bring one down? Probably not. Got my back turned to you. How you doing? A fucking tape measure. There it is. Decent. Friggin' right, it's decent. Oh, another video that's coming, so stay tuned for this. I got some new uh, balance port plugs for the batteries because yesterday I almost had a fire, boys, because this is what a 4S battery looks like right now in my house. All right, look at that. That's friggin' decent. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell button because of that, because that's something that... Uh, Looks real safe. So that's a video to come. See if we can't fix that HRB battery up. But it's deckered, so it's not very old either. I'm not too, uh, when I first got the HRB batteries, they were working pretty good, but the last two I got were just garbage. No offense, HRB. So what we gotta do is we gotta measure up. This TV, we need about uh, nine inches from the ceiling we do. So if we go nine inches from the ceiling, we can get her pretty high. But the thing we wanna do, is make sure we get ourselves a stud muffin. So what I need to do is I find one, and I already did, I think. So I think we should be good. So all I gotta do is just hammer the screw right into her, boys, and we should be good. Cause right here, no, I do not have a stud finder, just so you know. But what I say we needed? Nine inches? Frig, I can't remember already. What's really going on? Is my mic on? Sure is. Ooh, eh? Ooh. Nine inches, boys. Nine inches, boys, which is, we're gonna play her safe and go about 10. Right about there. Decent. So we'll mark that like that, and then we'll mount the bracket on with a screw or two. Now I know that this ain't the ideal friggin' way to do her, but the TV weighs nothing, so we should be fine. Do you want to get in here closer to see? Why wouldn't you, eh? Let's get you in here, boys, so you can see what's really going on. How's that? Is that all right? Decent. Decent. I always keep you so far away and you can't see deck all. So why not bring you in? So we'll get a washer on here, and then we'll slap this on here like that, and then we'll go for the, the big giant guess here, boys. We should nail her, though. I'm pretty good at finding the studs. I'm gonna say right fucking there. Ah, I missed her, boys. I can't get in there with a screw gun for one. Okay, I got myself a little bit of an extension I did. See if I can't get in there a little easier. Careful. Probably right where the line is. I think I missed her by about half an inch, boys. Girls, peoples. Oh, no. How many of you do this? Leave her comments down below. There it is. We found her, we did. Oh, for fuck's sakes. What a f joke. I found her and I damn near only have to cover up one hole, boys. How's that for genius? Awesomely stupid. So now we'll get this one in and we'll look for center, which is right about there. I always go by the eyeballs like I told you before. Oh, definitely hit the stud though. Now, I can't get that damn thing in. This ain't the best stand for mounting, I'll tell you that right now, because this thing don't come apart, man. It's kind of a fucking joke, it is. You know what, the weight of this TV ain't gonna go anywhere anyway, so I'm not really too concerned about it. Frig, no I'm not. And this thing swivels like this too, so it doesn't have to be perfectly level, but i really like to have that tight if I could get it tight. Let's go get a hand bomber, see if we can't get that tight. I'm back, did you miss me? Probably. Not. Oh yeah, we are able to get her with a hand bomber, boys. Oh, that's friggin' decent. <laughs> All right, so now that we've done that, we can unplug this. Here, let me move you again so you can see. I'm sweating like a bitch already, boys. I gotta slow down. All right, so now that we get that mount mounted, we can unplug this keyboard and move this thing out of the way, move this charger out of the way, and move this out of the way. So that way, I can disconnect and shut off this old TV Ruski here so we can take off the bottom stands, boys. This TV weighs absolutely nothing. It's crazy. What we're gonna need for that is a star, boys. I'll make her easy for you. She's a star, she is. Starlight, star bright, won't you be my star tonight? Decent. So there we go, one off. And of course I dropped the screw right in the hole I need in. 
Oh my God, boys. Get out of there, you son of a bitch. Now when you're doing this, always make sure you put your screws back in the TV so you know where the hell. Oh, and don't do that either, boys. Still sounds good. Make sure you always put your screws back in the hole, Jim. That way you'll always know where they are if you ever need them again. And then, you, of course, you gotta put your stand somewhere where you're not gonna forget about them. Hopefully this TV still comes on. I just dropped the goddamn thing. Piece of shit. It's one of the cheaper TVs you can buy. Let's check her out. Oh, it was already on, wasn't it? Well, that's all that matters. Frig, it's hot down here. I gotta get the ceiling covered in, too. Somebody was mentioning about breathing that shit in, but hey, there's worse things in life that you can breathe in, that's for sure. It's not like I'm sitting here rubbing it, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, boys. I'll be okay. So there we go. Now that that's done, we'll need to come around where you are. And I'm gonna stand right in your way, so I'm gonna have to move you. I apologize. And now these screws that I got for this TV, they're a little long. So I got myself some nuts. So you put the nut through the screw and then you don't bottom out on the TV. Plus, that way I can give it the angle of fucking dangle. So what I gotta do is put a screw in this hole up here. I gotta put it in the nut to give it a space out. I gotta get my screwdriver. Gotta get everything ready here you do when you're doing this by yourself. So now that I got that ready, I gotta grab a hold of the TV somehow. And I gotta somehow pull her way over here, bring her in. And starter boys and I think I got it the first shot there you go one screw in Jim and it holds see it holds one screw it does I don't need two screws frig no I don't so now we get the second one in Captain. somehow oh, careful easy gentle oh, I think we got her in the hole captain technically I'm pretty sure with this TV only need two screws in it because I'm telling you right now if you felt this TV you'd be amazed it's lighter than a friggin monitor because it's just a cheap one boys nothing like a cheapy Jim we're gonna get the bottom screws in we'll put them in anyways hey eh? why wouldn't you Use it. Next. Okay, next. Put our little plugs on the wall. Hopefully they cover my fuck up. But if not, I can fix that. I have the technology. They don't. So we're gonna have to fix that later. We are. No biggie. Hey, what's a little extra hole or two? So there we go. Now that that's up, we gotta now do something with the wiring, which I knew was gonna get cocked over. I should have an extension cord. And here it is right here. So we'll unplug the TV from here and we'll plug her in here. Captain. Now we gotta plug the HDMI in into one, which I have a hundred feet of this. So I gotta do something about that too. There's a hundred feet rolled up in there. So there we go. How's that look? This stand's kind of nice because if you're not level, you can turn the TV and you can angle on the dangle and you can angle her down more. So now once I get all my cords taken care of, she'll be mint. That was a quick job, it was. Hey, that wasn't too bad at all. So now that's done, I can take this monitor, unhook it, and I can move it. So see, now I can move that monitor over here and I have 10 times more free friggin' space, boys. Girls, peoples. Hey, you like my control center. It's pretty friggin' cool, eh? I'm gonna have to do something with that cord right now because it's just dickered. I can't take it. It's pulled too tight. <laughs> yeah, we did. That's awesome. So much better. So much better. So much more room. So much more of everything. If you have a uh, computer with a USB port on the monitor, you can charge your phones with it, eh? So slap that into you. Why wouldn't you? And just so you know, these, for anybody looking for a real cheap computer, just for searching like the internets and stuff like that, you can pick up yourself one of these Mac minis for next to nothing anymore. Like real cheap. So if you get yourself one, then you can just use it as a media computer, which is awesome. Very right, it's awesome. So there you go. That's uh, a quick mounting of the old security cameras in no time. On that wall bracket. Now I can see it's way up there. It's not way down here. I got more space on my bench to do something like sewing or something without building another table right now. Plus, I got more room for just whatever I want to do over there too. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave a big like and a thumbs up if you did. But I'm going to go upstairs now and I'm going to hook up the other monitor on the other one because I got one of those old school square ones. So it's not even widescreen up there. So the, the cameras just look cocked because I like having the cameras up there too. So we'll get that done. This, that, the other thing. And... Uh, We'll call her a day. We'll just tinker in the room, stay out of the Coronas. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am, not doing anything I ain't doing. And thanks for watching. You know what to do for now.